Welcome back. This month, we take a special look at the technology programs at Newark City Schools. This is Newark Schools Now. Earlier this week, a former student, Willie Henderson, came to Newark High School to see what some of the technology classes have been doing. Here's Brittany with the story. What today's all about, um, we have a tremendous amount of students involved in STEM in our district, and we're even looking at improving that and increasing that number uh, because over the last few years, we've really come a long way with our STEM program here. And so we have an opportunity for Willie Henderson, who's a uh, member of the, uh, a junior at the U.S. Naval Academy and a graduate here uh, who's involved in the robotics uh, at the Naval Academy to come in today and share some time with our students. And So our students are sharing with each other and are also sharing with Willie and uh, we're getting feedback from Willie on some things that, that uh, we can improve on and some things that are, are out there outside of high school for students involved in this program. And so we have all three of our middle schools we were only able to select 25 students, so we have students here at the high school uh, come together. And this is the first time we've done this, so we're really excited about it. And we're really excited about where our program's going. And our, our kids are, are doing a fantastic job in competitions and, and uh, those type of things. And so this is a great event. We really appreciate uh, Willie coming today. It's not often that, uh, you know, the way I've looked at this is we're exposing our program uh, to things that they're doing at the Naval Academy, which is outstanding for our district. I'm Ashley Schultz from Heritage Middle School. Um, I'm co-coach with uh, Kim Hudson for Heritage Robotics. Uh, robotics was first introduced to us last year. This is our second year. Uh, we took one team last year to competition, and this year we now have Four, we had four teams compete, so we have 24 kids in the program of robotics. The students not only do or create a robot to do certain missions, they have to come up with a project, an innovative solution to trash trek. So they're coming up with a different way to help uh, recycle trash in our world. And then they also have to go into robot design, so they have to talk about their robot and the different attachments that they use and then they also have a team building activity which is awesome because they're actually able to work together and they're given a certain task that they have to complete. Robotics is definitely a great piece that we now have for kids to look critical thinking wise to extend their knowledge and it just gives them another avenue for STEM. Uh, Pre-engineering is another um, specialty class that we offer at the middle school level and it is um, for seventh and eighth graders we currently have, between the pre-engineering program and the robotics, we have 51 students involved. And the pre-engineering is a class that enables the kids to come up with designs and construct. So it's basically design and construct. They use trial and error to make their projects. They also work in teams such as robotics. Um, they have to learn to work together uh, and use a limited amount of resources. They have time frames and um, material resources that are limited and they construct different things such as a skimmer, such as paper coasters. Uh, we've also done a catapults and robotic arms and they get supplies and there are certain criteria limitations and they put these together and it's the first year for pre-engineering and currently it's um, available for seventh and eighth graders like I said. And today it's been great for our students to be up, he up here to be able to share and showcase the different things that they were able to do in pre-engineering and in robotics. Um, and it's great for them to be able to see that this is something that they can continue on at the high school level. Um, we're in the programming for problem solving class at the high school. It's a semester class, so you can take that and choose one of the other classes we have at the high school. We work with um, VEX Robotics and we use the language Robot C to program the robots. Uh, the class helps us learn how to problem solve and find different ways to do things that you wouldn't normally think of. Our course is 
called Engineer Your World. It's a focus on the design process. So while most of the other classes are focusing on one type of engineering, we cover broad concepts um, and a variety of different things that impact real engineers. The course was adapted from the freshman engineering design course that they offer at the University of Texas and they've now applied it down to the high school level. Austin and I were able to interview Master Sergeant Barnett about the drone. Here's more. All right, I'm here with Master Sergeant Barnett. Hi. All right, so can you give us a little bit of a background on what exactly the drone is and what its purpose is? Um, well, the purpose of the drone, it was purchased by the Air Force, and it was donated. Um, it's for our unit to teach the kids um, flight techniques, um, how to pilot it, and uh, to take aerial photography. And then the Air Force gave it to Newark High School. So even though it's ours to use in our class for our students, it actually belongs to Newark High School. Oh, that's cool. So Mr. Bowman's got a, a few ideas of things that he wants to do and Mr. Newton wants to do with it. So it's actually pretty nice. Yeah, that is nice. And it is ready to go. So. All right, and now we're going to take a look at it. Here you go. Push this button right here. There, yeah, just take a picture of Newark's acting ensemble class recently performed 30 Ways to Ruin Your Life. Here's Trey with some highlights and interviews with the cast.
Do you, Jessica? If it's with a heavy heart that I... It's been a long day, how are you? Ah. Fine. Marco, Marco. Marco. Yeah, I killed a mammoth today. It was slow. Mr. Williams, I'm the drama teacher. Okay, so what's the play about and what's it called? Uh, it's 30 Ways to Ruin Your Life. It's three short one acts that the kids combine together. Um, each one is 10 different ways to ruin your life, but they all have different themes. Alright, why did you choose to do this as a play? Um, I actually didn't. Um, for this one, for the acting ensemble plays, the kids in acting ensemble do everything for the play. So they picked which shows they wanted to do. And they did the casting and costumes and props and everything. So they're actually the ones who picked it. Um, I think the main reason they picked it is just because they thought it was funny. Oh, I play a lot of different characters. Um, some of them, I play a character named Wilma and Mandy and interviewer too. Yeah. <laughs> um, I play a lot, like, more than five. Let's go with that, that's a good round number. My favorite part is when we we have a scene together and we get to sit and eat cheese cubes for a little bit, which I'm super excited about. I like all the parts where I'm not eating cheese cubes because I don't like cheese cubes. Jared Nash was able to film a JROTC rifle team practice displaying the skills. Here's Jared with the footage. Off of what, what is your name? Caitlin Sawyer, and I'm this year. Myself, I am a freshman, so I'm just starting. But it's so far, it's one of the farthest things that's been fun to do here. And what's your favorite thing about the rifle team? About almost, there's only two girls on the team, and I'm one of them. And it's kind of fun just being one of the only girls. All right, thank you. Alright, so we're going to start off here with your name and anything else you'd like to introduce to the crowd. I am Colton Wilson and I go to SeaTech and I'm still able to do rifle. Now what's your favorite part about rifle team? Um, the bonds and friendships you can make while in rifle with just the good times you have. Because it's all lighthearted and everyone has fun together. If you could describe rifle team in one word, what would that word be? Amazing. Thank you for your time. All right, we're going to start off here with your name and anything else you'd like to describe about yourself. I'm Ben Morton, and I go to SeaTech. I'm in architecture engineering. Now, what's your favorite part about Rifle Team? My favorite part is just being around all my friends, being on the team, and being able to do something with the school. Now, how would you describe Rifle Team? Rifle Team is a team sport. You have to have experience in doing it. It's not exactly the easiest thing, but you can learn how to do it. Thank you for your time. Alright, let's start with your name and anything else you'd like to describe about yourself. Christian Child. Alright, what's your favorite part about Rifle Team? Definitely the shooting part. It's super fun. I enjoy it a lot. Alright, now why did you join Rifle Team? Because Master Sergeant Barnett thought it would be pretty fun for me to do, so just try it out, and I'm actually pretty good at it. Thank you for your time. Would you be willing to take a pie in the face to bring down the price of your books? Mr. Shoe may stepped up. Here's videographer John Elk with more. <laughs> 